Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Still not feeling 100% today. Stomach's driving me crazy. Hot and cold flashes. Throat's coming and going. Coughing occasionally. Occasional running of nose. Ugh. But I did get some crochet done. So, like I was saying, it's been a bit of a rough day. Um, headache, a lot of headache to go with along with everything else. And the flashes, it's not menopause. It starts like in here and then I just get really warm. I haven't had one of those for a couple hours. So while I was doing the dishes very, very slowly and carefully taking my time, I had some more dining art done. Concentrated mostly on the white of the sink. Love the sparkle. Love it, love it, love it. And because I want it in my bathroom so bad because my bathroom looks really empty. That's why I'm pushing myself to get this thing done. I'm not like pushing, pushing. It's... I've got body aches. I feel like garbage. It just makes me sit for a few minutes and reassess my life, so to speak. Um, but yeah, the bathroom I want to put it in has really no art in it. It looks very sterile, very, very plain. And my daughters keep on telling me they would like some more art or some art in general. So is what we chose and I'd like to have it framed in even a cheap frame just to make sure that you know when you have a shower it isn't going to cause the diamonds to come off because they're all pain in the tushy to put them back on Ugh, don't want to do that so let's see what I've done today um today was first day back to school for my middle daughter oh wow I'm just gonna wrap around that are you Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, all right, I got it. So, I've done a complete row around. And then over here, started the second row. And I think, I think it's gonna be just fine. I think I'm gonna go this way. I think I'm going to embrace the lighter antique pink that comes along. In this ball because I did want this paint really bad so that's exciting it's gonna take me a little bit of time it's just the one I do when I just need something mindless and I did promise I'm a groomies didn't I my last episode last video I said I'd be getting on Amber groomies now this one is supposed to be a garlic it's a clove of garlic with a long tip i think the, the tip is a little bit long but that is what it's said to do in the pattern and these this is from a free pattern from hobie they have a whole bunch of amigurumi foods and i want to get through a bunch of them so this is my first one and i'm going to do at least two my mother thinks I should do like four. I think that's a little excessive. I think two is going to be good because as much as the adults in the household like garlic a lot, the kids only, yeah, just a little. And these are my crochet hooks of choice. This one's for wearables. And this is my old faithful for my amigurumis. It is loose as can be. 
and every so often I have to stop and just slide it back in. But that's because when I'm doing amigurumis, I like to do mine with like a four weight for the most part. And I keep my stitches pretty tight. Take a look at my decreases. I'm pretty proud of those. I've worked really hard on getting good at them. And I did want my strings here to go right into the middle. Focus. Because with a real one, it would definitely not go to the middle like that. It has a bit of that round, hard part at the bottom. Well, with my decreases, I use the invisible decrease, which is you go to in through your front loop of the first one, down through the front loop of the next one, you yarn over it and you pull it through. So you got to go through the front loop only with that. Um, if you go through the back loop, you're going to have a lip. If you go through the whole thing, there's a good chance that it's going to pull too much and give you a big hole. So I found that that is the most amazing thing in Aberdeen. It really, really does make a huge difference. Um, do I have that off? Another thing I was struggling with was, so this is my st side I started with my tester guy. This is a hacky set. It has a balloon with dried out peas, I believe, in it. Soup peas, something like that. Something that I only had a little bit of left of in my cupboard. Anyway, this is why I didn't get into making them too much. Look at that mess. That is a ginormous mess. I've since learned to put your yarn on one of your darning needles and slide in and out, in and out in the middle and pull gently until it closes. And that actually has worked out really well. It took me a while. I thought to just like go up and down and through and over and over and over really make sure. Ah, uh, you just end up with that big giant mess. So I've done like three of them in the big giant mess and I could do it really easily without doing it. And I mean, the thing that I really did well though on this one is my color change. Where did I think that is where I think that's where the color change went. Can you really, really tell? Not too much. So that was a big thing I was working on that particular one and I've gotten a lot better at it sometimes I forget. And the color change, it is mostly what I do, is when you get to the second loop, to pull through, you change your color there, and then you pull it, your next one backwards, uh, and then you gotta do it on the next row. You gotta pull it through backwards at the beginning of the row, and then you can go as normal if it's just color change, but it's definitely something I would recommend looking at tutorials about. Please, don't take my word for it. I'm very being a little bit loosey-goosey on how I'm saying it. Please, if you want to try that, look up your color changes. I like the back loop only, or going through it backwards. Any other kind, I've tried, like, cutting it, doing this, doing that. It's just too much. I like doing that one. So that's the one that I find is the most effective for my style and most comfortable for me. Um... Yeah, amigurumis can be very challenging, and I love doing them. I do, I do love a nice amigurumi. The clothing, the wearables, is something that I've never done before this season. It's my first time really doing that. I'm um, starting last Christmas, I guess. I started doing wearables, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I, it's growing on me because everybody in my household's like, "Oh, it's a white pumpkin." I'm like, "It's not a pumpkin. It's close though." Pumpkins are done very similarly, and so with my green pepper, are my peppers. I have green, yellow, orange, red. So I have four peppers, and they're done very, very close like that. You just pull a string through and bind it off. Lots of fun. Oh, the apples. The apples are done the same way. You need to have that little point at the bottom for the little bumps to sit properly to give it an apple shape. So it's just basically you take a round and depends on how many times you pull string through that you get your proper shape. This has 
six. And I believe the bump is like five. I'd have to check into it. And I'm there are all of the patterns are on my phone. I'm using my phone to chat with you right now. So I'd have to get back to you. But if you don't want to wait for me, definitely go check out Obi. They are free, downloadable, free PDF. And they're, they're fun. They're cute. They're just little. And that goes with my daughter's kitchen. So that's part of her gift. Um, her dad was it and sister found one of those wooden sets that you can cut the food. I don't know how much she's going to like that so much, but we'll see how, how it goes. I am thinking about doing a little market bag for her to put the foods in. Like there's tons of room in the little kitchen to put it in the sinks, but I mean, I think she's going to have fun doing shopping. She likes to go shopping, she says. So that's a new new one for her in the last couple of weeks. So that's definitely going to be something that I'm going to have to think about. Not a big one. She's turning three, so it doesn't have to be a big one at all. I'm hoping the kids don't catch whatever I've got. I'm hearing rumors around the, the mom groups in the area that a lot of people are getting sick right now, which yep they do. But there's a few people that are saying that COVID's going around again in the area and it's a different variant. So that's always nice, always nice. I don't want to get sick, sick for like a long time. I think I may have had it at one point when it first, when we first started getting into lockdowns. And if that was it, holy man, you don't, I, I don't want to get that again. That was really bad. I had a five-day street, horrible, the worst fever I've ever had in my life. And I've had chicken pox as an adult, and that was absolutely brutal. The hallucinations alone, I'm still just, ugh. I'm one of those lucky ones that I have never really gotten chicken pox to the point of having it go through my system so they're not sure how it's going to affect me and I've actually had people argue with me online telling me that no nope, you can't have it as an adult this and that and I'm like I seriously have had it I was 22 and it was for my birthday and it was not not pleasant they are not kidding that it's not fun when you're an adult it is definitely wasn't fun when I was a kid when I had it briefly but for some reason, I get it for like a couple days and it just goes away and it doesn't make a full cycle. And so I'm probably due to get another chicken pox vaccination soon just to be on the safe side because I'm getting older and you never know. And there's a lot of people not vaccinating their kids and it's kind of like there's a chance I could catch it and I don't want to go through that again. That was not fun. On a side note, the doctor who told me I had chicken pox comes in and says, Oh, you have herpes. And I was like, excuse me. He thought he was being really funny. And I was on day four of fevers. And I was like, dude, this is not okay. That's not how you tell somebody that. I am going to I'm gonna go home and, and take pills and go to sleep and pretend that this never happened and you didn't tell me this like that I understand they're the same virus but this was not funny not funny at all that's not what a young adult wants to hear when they come in with spots all over their body and feverish and feeling super sick hallucinating like just no please keep the drugs to yourself this isn't a funny Ugh. sometimes I swear but yeah it was a walk-in clinic so I feel bad. He he figured out really quickly that I wasn't really receptive to his hilarious joke. And I apologize, but this wasn't something I found amusing. Usually I'm pretty good about making jokes back and that kind of thing. So, But this is my house. I don't play around. My hands are a little stiff. I think it's because it's cool here today. It's nice. I like that. We got some actual fall weather it's been not rainy I don't think 
I spent a lot of my day on my bed. I did my amigurumi really slowly. Normally I go way faster, but I'm just feeling really achy everywhere. Like, oof, everything aches. None of my worst ones is where the epidural was put in for my last girl. And, oof, she was my only one I had an epidural for. And I feel it. Three years later, I can still feel where that was all done. Because it's not a needle, it's a tube. And I don't know, I don't know if it was because it was on there so long, or I'm just a big sensitive baby. I wonder what that was. Phone beeping at us. Ooh, friendly. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, I'm feeling a little whiny and, and down. But I am excited. I did get one done. I got one done. Possibly might work on another one, but I'm feeling a little headachey, so I'm thinking about just curling up and maybe listening to a book or watching a quiet show. Maybe see if I can eat some crackers. I had some soup for dinner, and I'm finally feeling one. Like about seven hours later, that maybe I might want to eat something else, but it's probably not going to be anything very heavy. I tried eggs and hash browns this morning they tasted divine but oh i paid for it i paid for it anyways thanks for joining me here at all the crackers in the box i will keep on crocheting even if i am sick even if i have to go one eye because my eyes are blurry and my head hurts i will keep going i have a deadline again probably won't do the hand sewing because that takes a lot that's a lot harder on my eyes and i'm got a lot of film on them so thanks again for joining me here at all the crackers in the box hopefully i'll be feeling better tomorrow